updates to the property pane. This is the right hand window. A, a really nice change that I, I personally like myself is the way now if you click on any, any element uh, in the Tecla Structures model it will show you any attributes that's been applied to it. So if you click on the element you can see here in the window it will automatically show, it doesn't matter what tab they're on, it will actually show anything that's been defined as the user defined attribute. So it's uh, f again a little bit more in depth. If I click on this element in the model uh, it will actually show anything that's been assigned to it on any tab, any user attribute. So quickly, you don't have to go through the old way of going into more attributes, clicking through each sort of um, tab field to find out what you're looking for. That's activated by selecting this option here, which is so show properties that have a value. If you click the option below it, that will go back to the old way of working. Uh, if I show you that as it does work, so for example here, if I add an attribute to my element and modify it, you can see in the right hand window, it actually appears in the dialog box automatically and I can change that directly as well. So click on there, we can stay delayed, modify that. So if I click on another element, such as this column here, you can see any attribute, it's got some Tecla Structural Designer attributes to that and some additional, uh, some additional checks as well. Um, so click on this one here, let's click on another slab, you can see that slab has just got the mat, mat numbering on there. Click on that element, you can see there the additional matches which mean they use defined attributes in the bottom right here. There we are. Um, you can see the option I've clicked on there. If I click it back to the old option, it then makes them visible by clicking on the element. Or if I click on this option below it, that goes back to the old way of working. So again, if I click on this element here, it will automatically show me any use defined attributes that have been applied to that member. And I can click along any one and it will show any attributes uh, dynamically across into this uh, bottom area here.